Welcome to Northwoods, Wisconsin. show you guys what I use for a tip-up box. Now first of all there's a lot of different styles of tip-up you know carriers you can buy. You can make your own. Guys make their own boxes. You can buy bags that are intended for rods. You can buy like the rod lockers, the little briefcase boxes. You can buy the super expensive bucket from Beaver Dam that uh, holds the tip-ups on the outside. Uh, you can make they sell their own separators that go inside of it, you know, that keeps everything separated nicely and all that. Um, Beaver Dam also sells that that ring that goes on the outside that actually holds the, the tip-ups. Or you can just throw them in a plain old bucket and then they all get tangled and you overload one side of the bucket and carry it and it's leaning to one side real bad and spilling and all that crap. So anyhow, this is possibly the best way to carry a tip-up and I don't know that anybody really knows about it. I got some friends and stuff that that uh, use these same boxes, but I've never seen anybody on YouTube use them. I mean, not a lot of YouTubers actually tip up fish. It's like you got a jig if you're on YouTube. Apparently, like everybody just goes for panfish, and you don't see a lot of tip up fishing being featured on YouTube. But I'm one, so I'm gonna show you guys what I know. So this is what I use for a tip up box. This is not a tip up box, though. This is a toolbox. This is a Plano Stone or a Grab and Go 26 inch. You can buy it anywhere. Just Google search Plano Grab and Go 26 inch toolbox, and this is what you're going to find. I believe you can get it online for like $12. So it's way better, hands down better than the Beaver Dam buckets that you can buy for, I don't even know what those cost, but they're a lot. They're like, oh, I want to say they're like 40, 50 bucks. They might not be that much, but. In my head, it's a lot of money, so I'm guessing that's what it is. I used to know the price on them. This is a toolbox. It's a perfect length for a tip-up. To begin with, you can put a paddle lock on here so nobody can get into. Already better than any bucket. Comes with these boxes on the outside, right on the lid. That. I use for treble hooks, uh, different size sinkers, anything you would need for tip up fishing or jigging. You know, you're going to be bringing this along anyways if you're jigging. Might as well throw some jigs in here. And this one, I got depth finders, I've got the, the little bobbers, the mark your line, the line marker bobbers. I've got more sinkers in there. Um, I've actually got two of these that I always use, and the other one has um, jigs in it and slip bobbers, all the rigs for slip bobbers, stuff like that. So, already, in my opinion, just that alone is better than a bucket. Like the Beaver Dam bucket, a bag, anything like that. This actually has dividers and stuff. You got, you know, storage for uh, stuff like that in a bag, but not an actual divider. You'd have to throw your own box in there, probably. And then, got the two latches here open it up and now when these are new I don't have them in here right now I don't actually know where they are they're somewhere in my garage um, it comes with a tool tray in here you know that you can lift out which is great if you're using see my tip-ups are a little different because I got them loaded down with lights in here so they're a little bigger and bulkier and I, sh I would be able to fit more in here if, if I didn't have a lighthouse tip-up uh, and a frable tip-up on all of them plus on three of them I have blue tips tip up lights on here. So anyhow, they're bigger. You might be able to fit in more if, if uh, you didn't have all that on here. But I have six of these in each box, which you might be able to get a little more in there if you didn't have all those lights on. But I get six in here. If you downsized a little bit, and it might even be close now, you would be able to fit that tray in there and then you could fit stuff on top of the tray like your needle nose, your spreaders, um, fishing license, anything you might need 
um, would fit up there. Uh, scales, tape measures, anything. You could even fit like your gaff hook in here if you got a retractable gaff hook. A retractable scooper might even fit in here. You can fit all kinds of stuff in here. So I'll give you guys another look there how deep it is. There's six tip ups in here, six wooden tip ups. Variable plastics. They're not no gimmicky small tip up or anything. They're full size regular wooden tip ups. So anyhow, I wanted to show you guys what I use for a tip up box. I think they're the best on the market and they're cheap. Uh, like I said, 12 bucks. Um, I believe you can get them Farm and Fleet, Mills Fleet Farm, places like that. You can Google search them, buy them online. It's probably cheaper that way anyways, like $12. Um, that's what I use. I think it's a great idea. Uh, let me know what you guys use for a tip-up box. If you think this is a great idea, if you think it might be better than what you use, let me know. If uh, you got something that you think is better than this, let me know. I'd like to hear that too. Um, if you haven't already, like the video, comment down below what you use, subscribe if you haven't already. We're coming out with videos pretty consistently. Um, today is Monday. I announced the 1,000 subscriber giveaway this morning. Um, Wednesday, I'm going to be going out doing some fishing. Um, I'm going to be trying to get some my hands on some traps. Uh, maybe at some point this week, I'm going to be trying to do that. I don't know that I'll record that or anything, but um, that's more content I'm going to be coming out with for you guys. I'm going to be starting to do some trapping at some point and all kinds of stuff coming up. So uh, subscribe and stick around. We'd love to have you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.